More than 1,200 delegates from all across the nation attended the 2009 National Alpha Conference held in Orlando, Florida. The conference was hosted by Northland, a church distributed. Dr. Joel Hunter warmly welcomed Nikki Gumbel and the Alpha team. Your ministry is essential to the renewal of this country, and your ministry is being used by God to renew his body all over this world. Alpha USA Executive Director Gerard Long introduced Pastor Jackson Sinyanga, who opened the conference in prayer, together with 1,000 Ugandan prayer warriors beamed in live via the internet. Alpha is immersed in prayer. Prayer is by far our most important priority. We desperately need God in these days. And it's in that context that I, I'm very excited to be able to introduce you to a very good friend of mine, Pastor Jackson Senyonga. Being able to pray for Alpha has given us a sense of a, a global impact that God can use just us all the way from Africa to be able to partner with life-giving ministries like Alpha USA and be able to take the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world and mostly in the United States. We have 1,000 people praying for Alpha for one hour a day. Nikki Gumbel, vicar of Holy Trinity Brompton, welcomed conference goers by recognizing delegates from each state in the U.S. Florida, Louisiana, Oh, fantastic. Anyway, wherever you've come from in the church, we're thrilled that you're here. And it's wonderful to have so many different uh, parts of the church represented here. If you wanted to sum up what the Alpha Course is all about, it's summed up in that, that ex expression, Jesus Christ, Him crucified and risen from the dead. Alpha is a form of come and see evangelism. What happens is people come to faith in Christ. They are filled with the Spirit, they get excited about Jesus, and they say to their friends, their work colleagues, come and see. At the conference, some of the participants who had come to faith on Alpha were interviewed by Nikki Gumbel. Well, I was kind of in high school, I was kind of pursuing drinking and women and uh, materialism kind of for happiness or a purpose in life, and always felt empty and ended up coming to Alpha January 06 and learned everything about Jesus and, and what Christianity actually was in its true form, biblically, for the first time. And I gave my life to Christ, invited all my Christian friends to Alpha, and they all became Christians for real. And then uh, ended up, lots of really cool things happened. I got to lead some people to Christ through leading groups, and uh, one, one, a guy that dealt me pot for three years ended up coming through, and now he's leading a table at Alpha, and, and um, yeah, God's, God's awesome. Brilliant. Thank you very, very much indeed. Alpha regions across the country gave exciting reports of what God is doing to create unity in the church using the Alpha Invitation. The Alpha Invitation has um, just given me the tools and given me the ability to reach out and, and grow Alpha in our community the way we want it. And so the number one blessing I feel that we've seen out of it is, is churches working together across denominational lines, praying together, training together, uh, offering the course together, and looking forward to more. We started small, but then it grew. We ended up with seven church site Alpha programs, 200 small group programs, which included the Salvation Army and a crisis pregnancy center. We had over 3,000 people involved attending it. The weekend away included 400 people. One Saturday and Sunday, we baptized 32 people. Highlights of the week included praise and worship led by singer-songwriter Brenton Brown. in-depth specialty ministry sessions, and learning tracks to satisfy all experience levels. And dinner on the grounds under the Florida sunshine. The conference ended with an exciting outreach to the Orlando community by Bear Grylls, star of Man vs. Wild on the Discovery Channel. 
Over 3,000 people were in attendance and more than 500 watched online. I want to support Alpha Park. We, Shah and me did it together a few years ago and it, you know, it really, um, it really helped us in our life and it, you know, I've seen Alpha just over the years touch so many people and I think what it does is it encourages people to find a really simple, straightforward, personal faith. You know, it's you time, it's you time and it's your chance in, you know, in life to ask those questions and I always say to friends, look, what have you got to lose and what have you got to gain and I think ultimately that's what it comes down to, you know, there's everything to, to gain from doing it. The 2009 National Alpha Conference.